I'm not gonna lie. I'm totally excited about being part of the Bass Cat Pro Team. Pro staff, whatever you wanna call it. I love it, I'm excited. And man, folks, you're sitting in the, the first look at the new Lynx 2022. We're nicknaming her. We're nicknaming her Sickness because crappie fishing's a sickness. And uh, you're getting a look at her right here. This is not the review of the boat. This video is a little different. I'm gonna bring you through a review of the boat and that'll happen probably in about two weeks. But for the people that are interested in understanding maybe a thought process of what goes into rigging a boat as to why you're doing one thing or another, this is probably the video for you. And it's gonna be maybe two or three videos because we're gonna go to cornfield crappie gear, we're gonna go to high tech, we're gonna go to places that are gonna build this boat out through this entire process. And I'm just gonna give you my thoughts. And I'm gonna have questions and I'm hoping you guys as viewers will say, hey Matt, why don't you consider this? And maybe you'll switch my direction. That's what I want. That's what really probably what I'm hoping for. So I'm gonna jump right into it. This is a Lynx 2022 Bass Cat. I'm excited, I designed it myself. I put it all together. If anything, Bass Cat's, I mean, Bass Cat has an amazing choice uh, in terms of what you do with these boats. And so that's always the most stressful part. So if you just take a look, and I know I've got some of these compartments up right now, um, but you know, I'm just been playing with it. Um, this is, this is sickness. That's the name of the boat. And, uh, you gotta name your boat folks, or you're going to have bad luck and we name our boats. So the number one thing that I'm concerned about right now is the pedestal seats, the actual seat hole, the holes in the deck of the boat. This only comes with one. So the question is, you know, do you do a millennium, you know, whatever those double deals up here and my experience up to this point not just millennium any of them i've tried a bunch of them um, i've never felt that they are truly solid now that's just me that's just not an opinion it doesn't reflect on their products whatsoever i think they're probably incredible products um, but for me i want something really sturdy and i really want three holes up in the front so up to this point I've decided that I'm gonna have two more holes drilled 14 inches from this point here to there and then another one over there. And that way I can have guide trips, my fishing partner. We can use those, utilize those two tools, those two holes if we need to. Now, of course, the downside of that is that you're gonna have kind of a silver plate on top. I know that. Um, I just don't know if that's such a down, if that's such a big deal. Um, I really want someone to feel secure. And when you're having a guide trip, I really feel like it's important that you have a secure uh, place for them to sit. So that's number one. And hopefully, I believe it's Cornfield Crappie Gear that's gonna do that work for me. But, and that'll happen in a couple days. So that's number one thought process for me as an angler getting a new boat. This boat is strictly straight from the marina as I designed it. So, um, There's I have a look at it. This is gonna be a really raw video. I do not expect this video to be like a major viewed video. <laughs> it's only for those guys that want to understand the thought process as to what's going into why did you do certain things. The next you know thing that I'm considering is I've got a Solix 12. I've never had Solix, I've always used Helixes. Uh, Solix 12 is gonna go right here on the dash. Okay, it's not gonna sit out here on the side like my helix did now what's the what's the downside of that the downside is that it's going to permanently be there so when you park at hotels when you do those type of things it's going to be there so unless you cover it up with something so people are going to potentially see it as a target um, i'm a little concerned about that i'm not going to i'm not going to lie but the other thing is i'm going to have another solix up front i did order a helix uh, for this boat, which was a mistake. You want to have two Solixes apparently together. That way you can share mapping. So I can only have to buy one mapping card um, for the Solix that is here. It will actually show up there. So you have to have two Solixes to make that happen. So it actually mirrors exactly what is being shown here apparently. So, but I have people working on that. They're going to get me a Solix up here. And then I am going to go with, well, hold on. Let me back up. Cause you can see what I'm gonna talk about right now, right? 
folks i have not changed i am staying with the ultrex that's a one that's a that's the big boy right there that's the 120 112 volt uh ultrex that's the same exact ultrex that i had on my last boat and um i don't i don't waver from the ultrex man the, the thing about the ultrex i like the most about was is the foot pedal the construction of the foot pedal is incredible feels great so I'm not saying that the other guys are not i'm just saying that i love i appreciate the ultrex so but the other thing is i am going to have two live scopes on this boat for me and my fishing partner during tournaments so we're going to probably do the live sweep you're going to and again i'll take you along for the ride at cornfield crappy gear that that video will be coming up but that's just my thought process what do i want to do with live scopes do i want it to be a side mount do i want it to be just a you know an automatic you know i think it's they're a little bit more advanced on the actual trolling motor that's where i'm wavering to because i don't want anything just sitting up here i want it to be attached to the boat i don't know if that makes sense but i want it to be attached to the boat not something that's dangling when it's not being used again this is not a boat review i don't want this i don't want this to come across as a boat review because it's not it's actually just for the people that are thinking about what they do to rig a boat now i went with power poles again big discussion there I always get asked on guide trips are you gonna get power poles again if you get a new boat and uh i did the reason why is i do value them when i when i'm doing the scoping of fish when i'm in shallow water i really do value them if they're there they're great they are expensive it's one of those things that you can get rid of if you choose to get a new boat um but i really you know when i want them i want them and i think that um it's a good thing to have if you if you can if if you can afford them basically that's what it comes down to it's just a lot of money for something you don't use that much but this is just a look at sickness that is the name of the boat like i said and uh i actually have decided to you go ahead and use this it comes so a bass cat you can order just about everything you want and it comes loaded up on the boat i'm gonna go ahead and try this perspective uh mount that they have i'm gonna try it out i mean why not right because all i have to do is untake take that off and put that guy right on there and we're good to go Again, I'm going to have a second live scope up there in the front. The biggest dilemma I'm having right now is probably the pedestals. If you guys can help me out there, that would be helpful. Is there another solution to that? I'm not sure, but I would love to hear your thoughts. The other thing is, you know, one of the other great partners of Three Pound Fishing is Amped Outdoors. They have given me a heck of a deal on new batteries. So I'm going with the 36 volt uh batteries for the trolley motor so that means i only need two batteries for my trolley motor and then i have an extra compartment now get this folks i'm going with a 100 amp hour battery for the electronics which is insane uh, but if you know me and if you follow three pound fishing you know that i've had a lot of problems with with batteries i have so why not go big? I'm gonna go the two 36 volts for the trolling motor. And then, and you guys can get all this information from Amped Outdoors. They did tell me today that they just got a huge shipment in of these batteries today, literally. They sold out and I'm gonna have two of the first, which is awesome. And then a 100 amp hour battery, which is gonna power the electronics. Should never have a problem with electronics ever again with that type of uh, power. Um, that was that was a discussion in my mind because I could have pulled the other lithium batteries off of I could have pulled the other lithium batteries off of the the old boat and saved some money there but I was like man I could probably just sell those batteries if I needed to or I could just sell them with the boat obviously I have a lot of blue tops folks I have blue tops I could show you these blue tops check this out I mean for those wondering, it's a 300. I know there's going to be questions. What kind of size motor? That is a that is a big boy. <laughs> but check out these blue tops. I'm going to show you in here. Let's see. There's two blue tops there. Oh, look at there's a battery there. There's a battery there. Batteries have become an an issue. I did. 
I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I am switching over to the Solixes. So there's the, there's the new Solix right there. And then the second Garmin unit is going to be a 126 SV. So I've talked about it time and time again that I recommend the 126 SV all day long. It is without doubt my, I think it's the pick. If you don't have to video your catches on, on a active captain or anything like that, 126 SV. So I am going to have a 126 SV underneath my 16 inch 86 16. And um, I think that's a good choice because when I'm fishing on my guide trips, A, I don't need two monitors. So I can literally take the monitor off of the stand and it'll make it lighter that we're focusing on the 86-16. And B, it's, it's got a great picture. So my fisher partner will be able to uh, do what he needs to do. So let's see, other things that I'm considering for this boat. Oh, what is there other, what other things? So those are the biggest topics. Pedestal, lithium batteries, it came with a radio. You know, probably another conversation people are gonna ask me, I just, I just know this is gonna, how did you become pro staff for, for Bass Cap? At the end of the day, folks, here's, here's the deal. You have to get out there on social media. You have to promote whatever it is that you believe in. I've believed in three pound fishing for what, seven years or something like that. I reached out to them in May. It was actually during the Kentucky tournament of last year. And they were just so nice. They actually responded, they responded nicely. They returned phone calls, they talked. Um, I, I talked to a couple and I'm gonna go through that whole process. I need to do a whole video on that process because there was a, about a three boat decision making process and I talked to three different companies and Bass Cat definitely separated itself from the rest. To response, to listening, uh, to the quality of boat. And I gotta tell you, there's another YouTuber out there. His name is Ken Smith. He did a video on the great bass, you know, boat find. And I thought his data was so on point and so detailed that I, he was actually the, 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 the ending. I was like, that's it. That threw me over the edge. That was the, can the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And so Ken Smith, I'll put his link in below. I don't know him from Adam. I have never talked to him. Um, but he went through such a thorough investigation of bass boats. He was almost doing it for me. And when he came up to the conclusion of Bass Cat, it was one of my three finalists as well. And I'll never forget Ronnie Caps and Coleman passing me on the Alabama River. Of course, they don't know it, but I was there. They were going like 75 and it was like they were floating. And I said, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then I've had some walk through some other anglers boats. I knew I liked the Lynx. Um, I walked through a bunch of boats, folks. Camus, um, Skeeter. I walked through them all. And I was impressed by all of them. Don't get me wrong. I was. But the, the, the fit and finish of this boat really blew me away. And then when Ken Smith came out with that video, um, well, that series of videos, it was just icing on the cake. And, that, cake. and then when I talked to Bass Cat, that was the other thing that kind of threw me over the edge. I was like, my gosh, these people are listening. They... They appreciate, they return your phone calls, they, they wanna be a part of it. And, um, and then SNS Marine, he's been incredible. So I was like, gosh dang, I gotta be part of this. And if you look at the retention of people that buy Bass Cats, it's incredible. They don't leave Bass Cat because it is just that much of a family. It's much, that much of a uh, quality product. So what can you say? Either way, if this is not about Bass Cat, really it isn't. It isn't really about the boat. It is about the decision-making process of, of what's going through my mind right now. So I've got an appointment at Cornfield Crappie Gear. I have an appointment at High Tech. The Cornfield Crappie Gear is all about getting the mounts that I need for the units. And they're going to help me with the pedestals, I believe. After that, it goes to High Tech. They put all the electronics to make sure everything is working smoothly. Bass Cat does a great job of getting it to me and right in the good shape, but they take it to the next level. And I should be able to leave from High Tech with a finished product. That's the hope. Now, when it leaves High Tech, it'll come back here. It'll get gar uh, carpet graphics. No, I'm not wrapping the boat. Not, up, not, up, not right away anyway. And because uh, honestly, I think it's badass. So, and I don't use cuss words on my, on my station whatsoever, but that is sick. And that's why it's named sickness. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know this video is not for everybody and I don't expect it to get a lot of views, 
But if you wanna walk through the process, these next videos that are coming up are gonna be all about the process of what's going in. I mean, we're gonna be covering that 300. It bothers me that it's not covered yet, but I just ordered the cover for it. It'll be here perhaps tomorrow. Um, there are just little things that are going through my mind to make sure that it's, well, it's the forever boat, hopefully. Who knows, but either way, it's, I love it. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you stayed this long, you're in for the duration because I know we're gonna be at Cornfield Crappie Gear, perhaps next, then high tech, back here. When we put this baby in the water for the first time, you'll be with me, so. Thanks for watching, here we go. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.